Fatima. Fatima? <laughs> All right. So on the boat today with Carl Poos, we have Fatima College here. The class of upper six, correct? Yep. Yeah. Right, and they're doing in Vice. So they're doing water pollution today. And we're now heading out and we just spotted. Let me see if I can get him here. Where is him? He's up there. We just spotted a, a rainbow tree boa. So. There's a second one there. Right, so we have Team A here and they're doing nitrates and phosphates and they're now about to, tell me, tell me. They're now about to put the phosphate tablet in the water to test to see if, how much phosphate is in. Tablet in. Let's see what time is in? Now why you put it on that sack? Tell them. Because if you don't put, in, put it in the sack to block sunlight, it will react with sunlight and cause it to change color. Right, perfect. And I'm doing the, the this is the nitrate. It's the same test model. So you just put the tablet in, right? And it, it reacts with the water, and then you put it into the sleeve. Put the sleeve. Right. They're waiting to open one. That's for five minutes, right? Are you timing? Right, someone time in. Right, so we we'll you guys posted we have to wait a five minutes, so we we'll show you all the results in a little bit. Phosphate test after five minutes of shaking the tablet into the water and waiting a bit. It turns out to have two parts per million of phosphate. So I just completed the nitrate test, so after placing the tablet in the water and letting it dissolve and then let it sit inside of the sleeve for five minutes, we then get this reddish color and then when you compare it to the scale, you can see that it probably has around 10 parts per million of nitrate within the water in this one. Well done. Right, so this is Team B, and Team B is testing? Fecal coliform. This right. is basically the bacteria from feces that you'll find in the water from sewage. What we had to do is we had to take a sample, and there's a tablet inside here. You fill it up to the 10 milliliter mark, and then you leave the tablet for 48 hours for observation. And depending on the color that it turns, that will indicate how much fecal coliform there is in the water. All right, well done, Team B. So we have Team C here now, and you're doing? We are doing um, pH, TDS, and temperature. Um, so the pH we got as 6.5. Um, the temperature we got as 28 degrees Celsius. And the TDS was um, kind of tricky. We got 75.25, or it could be 75. 75, 75, 000, and, 25. And it's, it's a little sketchy for you yeah, there. We're not sure. We're not sure. <laughs> all right. So we'll work out those kinks and, and see how it goes. But that's all part of the testing too as well. All right. So Team C, well done, team. All right. So we have Team D here. And you're doing? Just of oxygen. So what we have to do is get a water sample in this test tube. Right. And then we have to take a dissolved oxygen tablet, place it inside, close the cap, and then match it to the scale that we have here. So we got it to be 2 ppm, which is parts per million. Mm -hmm. And then you have to record the temperature, which we got to be 28. And then we use a booklet to match the two, and then we get a value for this of oxygen. All right, perfect, Team D. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to stick that to this. 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 I'm going to stick
All right, so we just came back with Fatima College here. Class of what? Upper six? Upper six. Yeah. Upper six. So we just, they just finished their water quality testing for all the various things that you saw early on in the video. And we just got about to close it off. So you guys close it off for me. One more for the captain's love. Nice one. Signing out. <laughs>